Hi, beloved friends. Uh, this is Suna and Isla, the little cat. Oh, and here comes Rufus. See if he comes on camera too. Um, coming for a Easter message. And this time, Easter, is a time when we're remembering a huge transition point. A um, energy that was put into motion by Yeshua and friends for a real breakthrough into a deeper understanding and love and it is called the passion and everyone will have their own perspective and I do encourage you to uh, listen to other perspectives to expand your own and really get richness and depth from this springtime awakening. That's one way of saying it. But this is really our opportunity to make new, to make new. And making new is about letting go of that which no longer serves us, making room so that we can make room, make new. And, um, and some of us experience that letting go as grief and pain. And so I wanted to read what was given to me about grief and pain. Um, see if I can do it without my glasses. And then let you kind of figure it out. See what it can do for you. Now, um, I also want to let you know I do have a guided meditation. I don't know why this is not happening right here. There we go. Okay. And um, and, the, and I will put it down below in the description. So if you want to use this guided meditation, I just suggest you get into a very relaxed position and listen. Even if you fall asleep, you'll gain something from it. All right, so this is what was given to me earlier. Um, grief. And the grief is a collective mindset in the natural transition they call death. The illusion of loss that they invest so much of their energy currency into. Loss and death only exist in the imaginary world and then the thoughts are charged with emotional energy of grief and pain. Be wise about where you spend your energy currency, which is your focus. There are dead beings, illusionary beings, that feed on the grief and fear of illusionary death. Without your energy currency invested into the grief illusion, they cannot exist. Just as ego, or rather as ego, the illusionary non-life beings depend 100% on the power of your thoughts and emotions attached to those thoughts. They are illusions just as the monsters in the closets or under the bed are the child's illusions. These child perceived monsters are as real as the beliefs that you adults have on death and loss. Fear and grief are the emotional connections to the thoughts of death and loss. Fear and grief are the emotions, symptoms of dis-ease. Sick thoughts distorting the harmonious flow in the consciousness of divine love and presence. You need the diagnosis of the disease less than you need the cure. The cure is to spend your energy currency as focus and awareness of divine love and presence. There's more to that, and this will be um, published in a book 
soon. Some more of it is also on my Patreon. And um, just want to present that perspective so that um, we can enrich in the experience of what Easter, Good Friday, and Easter is for us. It's also connected into Passover. Um, similar themes, uh, death and um, new life, right? Passover is the same thing. The angel of death was asked to pass over the home that had the lamb's blood on the side. And, um, and after that, there was new life, leaving Egypt, leaving slavery, leaving a uh, way of living that seemed to be so um, usual, almost comfortable, because you knew exactly what was going to happen. You knew that you had to get up, you had to go labor, um, you had measly um, uh, rationings of food, and you, you, you worked really hard under a pharaoh. And it was Passover. And then Moses came to lead the people out of Egypt into a new life. So we are not to wait for any Moses or heroes outside of ourselves to lead us into a new life. We are supported and guided and stimulated by the um, divine um, guidance that comes, the divine messages, the divine support in many, many, many ways. But just like each Israelite had to get their own feet moving, they had to pack their own bags, and they had to make their own decisions to, to leave the old and venture into the new. And thank goodness they did, because then that set a foundation for the next major transition, which was Yeshua, who um, really worked with us to leave the old and um, the old restraints that we put on ourselves and to really connect to and focus on the divine, the divine love, the divine of who we are. Um, he called all of us friends, equals, and really giving us a seed of understanding the oneness of all of us. Oneness in unique expressions. So this time of changes, big transitions, even the earth is making changes and transitions from being frozen and cold into blooming new flowers new plants, new life, everywhere, the birds as well. This is all our inspiration and guidance and support for ourselves to create new life, to let go of the old, let the ice melt, open our hearts and bring in the new. So have a beautiful resurrection at this springtime, Easter time. Whatever you connect it to, whatever perspective you have this Passover time as well, just allow yourself to become richer and expanded in love. And that's my Easter message for all of you. Go forth in this day and at this time with blessings, opening your heart to receive the gifts of love that are all around you. Ask to see them, to feel them, to know them. Take care. Blessings.